giving you. What? Gabrielle, what the hell are you talking about? I just proposed to you two weeks ago and this? This is how you answer my proposal? Baby, baby, calm down. All right, kid? Listen, you knew this day was coming for, I mean, at one point, some point in time at least. I mean, did you really think we were gonna just continue this? Yeah, I mean, yes, I did. Oh, this is why you brought us to our favorite restaurant. So I wouldn't make a scene, so I wouldn't embarrass you plus myself. That's why? First of all, this is not my favorite restaurant. Maybe yours, okay? Second, I don't even know why you're acting so shocked and surprised. All right, yes, I'll put the blame on myself. Maybe I did lead you on to believe that I was in love with you. Maybe I gave you this notion that we were gonna be together to the end of time, okay? Make this happy home or whatever, I don't know. But you know what? I don't wanna keep lying to you and I definitely don't wanna keep selling you this false identity. F false identity? Gabriella, we've been together for two years and this has been a false identity? So you mean to tell me you never loved me, you never cared for me for two years? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I never cared for you, because I did. But yes, it's been two years. But you and I, Keith, we are two different people on entirely different paths. So this two year long one night stand, it's through. One night stand. That's how it started. One night stand. That's what I said. Wow. So two years we've been together and this has just been a one night stand to you? I mean, we were on a fast track. And you just gonna pull up the emergency brake before we reach our destination? Destination? Keith, you couldn't get to where I was going if I was your tour guide and I gave you a map, okay? First of all, I make $90,000 a year. No. That's more than half of what you made in the two years that we've been together. No, but I saw the potential in you. You're writing. I'm like, this guy is brilliant. But you know what? <sighs> I don't know. I, I believed in you. And I, and I saw that you were going places and I did want to reap those benefits. But it's taking too long. Yes, I am a writer. Writing is my passion. That's my dream. And like a baby, it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. But I see that you don't have the patience for it. <laughs> like a baby. Okay, a baby takes nine months to be created. How long is it going to take your book, your novel, to be delivered. How the hell long? Come on, it's not like you have one, two, you have three projects at that. One overzealous project of some portrayal of a broken marriage, I don't know, but too long. Wow, so I get it. Gabriella didn't have time for my dream. My dream was your nightmare. But did I leave you when you sent me a text message that wasn't supposed to come to me? No, I didn't leave you, I stayed. Yes, that, that really was a situation. But let's go back to that text message. It wasn't like I was making anything up. Let's be clear. You and I measured your six inch penis, okay? With a ruler, this wasn't an estimation. And for some reason, it just seems like it keeps getting shorter and shorter since we've been together. I don't understand. What, because you turned 45? Yeah, because you put on some weight? Pull the plate back, I don't know. But, Oh God, this is why I stepped out, let's be honest, four, five times. Yeah, but as far as the text message, no, I, I did not want you to receive that. That was hurtful, and I'm sorry about that. You're not, you're not sorry. You're, you're not sorry. You're sorry I received it. You meant to send a text message, but you're sorry that I received it. So let me get this straight. All those times you say you came, that was a lie too? That wasn't a lie, no, no, no. I did come every time we were intimate, but that had to do with your tongue gang and my magic bullet. That saved us during each time we had sex, cause truth be told, if I left it up to your stroke game, I would have been going the second day we fucked, okay? <sighs> oh my gosh, this is too much. Valentine's Day, put it together. When I asked for the toy to spice it up, it was because I wanted to stick around. So that's why I stepped out. Mm -hmm. Vic, our next door neighbor, I only fucked him for convenience, really. 
Yes. Wow. And it turned out to be a good ride. Had me coming like a monsoon in Thailand. I mean, Lord. Oh, so Vic wife doesn't find about this, but I do. And you know what? I'm not even going to tell her to put her through the same pain that I'm going through right now. I'm not. But see, that's what happens when you would do anything for the woman that you love. Anything. You'll go to the moon and back. You'll do anything to see her smile. You just want to see her blossom like flowers on a spring day. Even if it makes you look like a fool. I must admit, I like this energy. Because you really are so fucking passive. Yes. It takes this much to get you moved? I need fire. You act like you're Jesus or something. When you found out that text, anyone else, my head would have been rolling down the street. But not you, not my boyfriend. Oh my gosh, I, I don't know. I need something else. I need somebody that's gonna check me. Tell me, shut up. You're just not that guy. Hey, y'all. Hey. Girl, what are you doing here? I'm just coming to get something to eat. Oh what are y'all doing here? We were just having lunch too, chatting. No, 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 no. Really? no. So uh, you don't mind if I join you then? Nah, nah pull it up. Because actually, Gabby here, she was just breaking up with me. What? You know, she just told me about that last night. You really are a woman of your word, huh? Leah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what are you doing? Girl, I'm just repeating the things that you told me. Like the time when you told me that Keith here was working a double, trying to get you that brand new stove that you wanted, and you decided to have sex with your ex on the queen size mattress that he just bought with the 4,000 thread count silk sheets on them. Right? Girl, that was just nasty. Yeah, just nasty. And how about the time when you told me that the doctor said that you couldn't have sex for a month? And really, it was because you got pregnant by your next door neighbor and had to have an abortion. And she had the audacity to ask me to go with her. And I did, because that's what good friends do when their nasty ass friends do downright sneaky, dumb, devilish shit. Mm. Leah, what are you doing? Are you trying to ruin our friendship? Because this is insane. Like, how are you gonna just. Uh, uh, wait a minute, ruin your friendship? You want to talk about ruining friendships? I'll tell you how to ruin a friendship. It's when women like you disrespect and defame everyone around them that they love the most. And women like you who speak inexcusable things about their friends just to make them feel superior. And women like you who find great men like this here and you do dumbass shit to try to decimate their character. Now that, my friend, it's fucked up. Yeah, had me fucked up in the head. I did my spare time, Gabriella. I recorded all the information that you gave me and I decided to share it with him, along with the feelings that I had for him for over the past year. Yeah. No, 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 babe. T -t -t tell her the best part. Oh, oh, the very best part, babe? You want me mm -hmm. to tell the best yeah, tell, part? Tell her the best part. You ain't gonna eat that fish. Oh, the best part is, you know how you told me that he's the worst lover you've ever had? Well, I beg to differ. I mean, shit. He's been leaving wet spots the size of manholes in my bed for about the last 10 months. Clear that up in the air. Oh, yes, yes. Because you two are clearly, clearly meant for each other. That means you mm -hmm. two deserve oh, each yes, other. Thank you. Thank you for taking him off my hands because, see, you had this revolution where you upgraded yourself by finally losing some weight and became this ghetto butterfly. And oh, you, butterfly. the man with this, the penis the size of something that can't satisfy me and mm. pockets that have more lint in it than when it comes back from the dry cleaner. So oh. I, I feel like this is oh, a weight yes. off of my shoulders. So, so thank you. You can put that weight thank on me, babe. <laughs> Do, do you want to tell her or you want me to tell her? No, I want you to tell her. You, oh, you want me to tell her? Yes, oh, there's more. Well, remember, remember when I first proposed to you and you told me you had to, I, I have to think about it. Well, I was down on my luck, felt bad. I drove to the to the store and I got me a scratch off. Mm, you know, one of, those, one of those win for life scratch offs. Win and I life. just scratched, scratched, and, and scratch. as fate would have it, I won. $10,000 a week a for week. the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. So that makes that 40000 Look, 
Uh, that Damn all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that was hilarious. Uh, and you know what? You know what I realized, Gabby? Your services is no longer needed. Mm. Mm -hmm.